my name is Sky, and today I'm going to be showing you how I used to organise my sixth form A level day folder. So I did always use a day folder to take my things to and from school rather than carrying like three big folders. I just transferred the notes that I needed for that day, including what I needed for my studies, popped it all in one nice folder like this, which made my life so much easier. I also did pop a few other things in here, little things that I needed, and I will show you what they are. So this is the folder I typically use as my day folder. Nice roll around one from WH Smith, quite nice and sturdy so it lasted quite well. And it also has this on which I really do appreciate. So as we open it up we would find my timetable right at the front so I can always refer back to it to see what lessons I have on that particular day. And then as we turn over from my timetable, this would just be my homework section. So any homeworks I need to complete or have completed would be in this section at the front of my folder ready to hand into a teacher. And likewise, I also kept any mind maps I was still working on here so that I could continue with them in my studies. And I also kept a plastic wallet full of blank A4 pieces of paper as well so I could start new mind maps as well as some line pieces of paper in case I needed them in a lesson. And then we reached this plastic divider. I do prefer the plastic ones so much more than paper ones. I got these from WH Smith. I just think they're worth the money so much more because they don't rip off. And we reached the chemistry section of my day folder. Just keep all the necessary bits that I'd always need for chemistry no matter the content we're working on which includes like the periodic table, all of my data sheet, things that you get given in the exams. And then for all of my subjects I also kept a sheet of free frequently asked questions, things that I can always refer back to in case I'm getting stuck with a question. It's like, oh, why, why am I finding that difficult? Oh, I'll refer back to this. That's why. Not even necessarily to do with the content. It's like, would you be marked down for incorrect, unrequired state symbols? No. Therefore, if I'm doing something, I don't need to worry about it. Then I've also got a list of all the definitions, so I could always refer back to them. I always knew what was going on. And then we reached the actual content part of my folder. And you can see I always used pink and blue Bic pens to do this as it made my notes more colourful, therefore more interesting. At the end of the those notes I just kept some of my mind maps or questions or notes that I'd finished in case I need to do a little bit of revision I always had them handy and then we reached another plastic divider at the front of my biology notes I always kept a record of the specification what we were working on so I always knew how much of the course we had left to cover again just moving through my notes pink and blue bit pens anything in pencil is from a textbook or it's something I wasn't sure about and then at the end of that section of notes I just kept a mark scheme to refer back to easily which I've highlighted as well for clarity I also kept some mind maps that were relevant to the notes we'd been working on and then I also kept a few past papers that I could complete in my studies if I needed to and then finally at the end of my folder I always kept a plastic wallet chuck anything in it that I needed to like some flashcards or some new notes that teachers gave me I thought I would just add in though that eventually by the time we finished all the course content in year 13 like maybe March April time I just couldn't use a day folder anymore I had to grin and bear it and take all folders with me because there was just too much to do for one day and I did end up needing all of the folders every day luckily I had a locker at school but I still had to bring things home to use them at home again which is why Evernote is actually a really good thing which I talk about in my study apps video which is either already up or will be out soon don't know <laughs> so yeah by the time you finish the course a day folder probably isn't what's best for you especially if you don't have study leave but as you're in year 12 and the start of year 13 use a day folder oh and I probably should also point out that I didn't have things in here that maybe other people would because I also had them in my bag like post-it notes I had a pack of post-it notes I also had lined paper and things like that all in my bag hence I didn't need them in my folder. There you go guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye!